Guys, it is 1.30 in the morning. We're just woken up because there's literally a pack of hyenas two meters behind where we're sleeping. If that, maybe even less than two meters. And they just got a kill. And now they're ripping bones apart. And there's another, another kind of animal approaching. So they were just yelling at it saying, get away from here. Amazing. I think it's Simba. Yeah, I heard like Simba goes, mm -hmm. and I heard a bunch of that, but he was sleeping. And then, uh, yeah, it sounded like they got a kill, and then they're in like the carcass. And honestly, we kid you not, we should have got this camera out sooner. But you could hear, you could hear that, right? I think he might be dying. Right behind us is the is the massive kill. It honestly sounded like it might be over there, just a little bit to the left. But I also heard something right here. It's so insane. This life is so insane. Also, also, that's my fiance. This was kindly dropped off on our porch again this morning. It's a bit heavy for me to carry, so I'm just going to put it together down here. After we told you guys we heard some stuff behind the tent, we actually ended up hearing stuff in front of the tent. And it, um, yeah, it was very, very scary. We both woke up screaming. Uh, I think because we turned the lights, it went away. We just spoke to the guy this morning, and he said it was likely a wildebeest, an impala, and what was it, buddy? Hyena. And a hyena, yeah, like we thought. Oh, man. We shot out of bed last night, and we're like, where's the whistle? Yeah. We tore the desk apart looking for the goddamn whistle. I was yelling, it's on the bed, it's on the bed. Oh, but I God. meant it was on the desk. It was so scary. Not a lot of sleep went down last night. You can hear the animals still. There was just a herd of buffalo that just ran past. Good thing a guide comes and gets us, it's very nice. Well, to the most magical, memorable day of my life. Probably gonna start crying. Thank you so much for having us, Tanzania. It's been amazing. You're no longer a safari guide. Yeah. You're a drone pilot. Back on the road, last day. We gotta go to a little bit of a game drive and then a six hour drive back to Arusha. So maybe not as exciting as the last few days, but still game drive, still Serengeti. So let's go. I spotted a hippo far, far in the distance out of the water. And I'm not sure you can see it on the camera, but it's absolutely beautiful to be able to see him just walking in the distance there. Simba? Yeah, big Simba with me. Oh, big Simba. He stood up. Oh, that fell back down. Oh. <gasps> Mom and Dad. I think we're about to get We're on the move. Cub coming up. Oh, oh they're staring at him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. There's mouth open.
to our mission. We are now at the gate of the Serengeti. And we've got another six hour drive back to Arusha. So I'm not sure it's gonna be as exciting as the Serengeti, but uh, hopefully we can sit there, get some editing done on the, on the vlogs. I'm about three days behind. And enjoy the view. So we'll see you in six hours. Hello there students. Today we leave the Serengeti. We have seen many an animal. Lions, elephants, gazelle, zebra, even the allotted leopard. It has been a successful adventure and we wish for many more. But for now I am signing out at the Serengeti gate. This is Cameron and goodbye. Love you. Right here, really quick. We got an editing situation going down here. Uh, Eamon, how you feeling inside there? You happy camper? <laughs> we are at the rim of the crater. The rim of the crater. Uh, we are approaching the crater. Beautiful. Yeah. And we got a, a nice. On the left is uh, one of the expensive lodge. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. called Gorongoro Crater Lodge. How much per night? Uh, per night it costs about uh, 1,500 US dollars per person and they can offer you a half day game drive down the crater and back to the lodge. Wow. Day four, our last lunch on safari. We're just having a little picnic lunch. Vegan lunch today, I read it about a four. Adam? Cheers mother. <laughs> Out of a hundred. <laughs> We're at the crater, I think you just heard uh, Kasimbo telling you that guys. Oh. You guys look so precious in the little setting. And the crater's just beyond the way there. Yeah, we are? Yeah. We are at Mtombo village. This village is famous for growing a lot of our vegetables and uh, fruits. Oh. And all the tribes in Tanzania, they moved to this place because of the cultivations. This is banana beer. Banana beer. So after like that, after cooking like that, what we do, we keep we put off to the fire put inside it to the room to waiting for fermentation process. Uh -huh. And fermentation process to depend on the weather. We're taking five days up to seven days. And then you do like this. Oh. Just like that, eh? <laughs> 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 Interesting. <laughs> Jumbo! Bye bye, <laughs> What's your name, my friend? Tasha. Tasha. Very nice. We've been here for three minutes, and Tasha just smashed this. <laughs> Amazing. But you was you was come here at the at the last point. No, don't tell the story. Don't tell that. <laughs> Wow, so that was pretty cool. We uh, stopped at a little local village where they're actually making the tourist paintings. And the guy was literally painting our exact... Well, we, we bought one ahead of time that he had done, but then he was just replacing it and basically finished it while we were there. They use like a cool knife technique, so he's just... You'll see, I think we'll have some footage, just kind of scraping at the canvas. So we've just rolled up the canvases. We bought two, so you get to see them in our home one day. Um, oh, <laughs> mud. Um, yeah, so my god, it's really hot, but um, all is well. I'm so excited to support like the local tribe here as opposed to you know getting paintings from even within a um, like a gift shop, you know, that it's going straight to Soma and Tasha. And we got to meet the artist, so Jumbo. Jumbo. oh, there, okay, thank you, Asante. Um, anyways, yep, back to the car, two hours more or an hour and a half more to Arusha. You. You. Uh, thank you. Drop three bottles. On behalf of all of us, yes. we want to say a very big thank you. Yes. You're going to be like family to us for the rest of our life. Thank you. And mate, it was it was amazing.